Hi everyone, Stefan here and today I'm breaking down the numbers game in the world of construction engineering in the UK. You're probably wondering, is it better to be self-employed with a day rate or employed with an annual salary? Let's cut through the noise and talk about real figures and real situations. Some print skins of job hours for both options, so today we're comparing a self-employed site engineer job at £280 per day to an employed engineer earning £45,000 per year. Both hours are typical salary and a typical day rate of what recruiters and companies in Scotland offer these days. So, of course, you can get more or less. At the end of the video, I will add my personal opinion about both situations. So let's dive into the numbers. Let's start with our self-employed engineer. £280 a day. If you work five days a week, 52 weeks a year, you're grossing a solid £72,800 per year. You're probably thinking, that's a lot of money, but there's a catch. As an employee site engineer, you probably get around 35 paid holidays per year. So let's subtract them from our calculation to make a fair comparison. That will leave us with 63,000 pounds, which is still a lot of money, you may say. From that amount, you need to subtract your business expenses which in my first freelance year were around uh, 13,000 pounds. That was for the software, laptop, transport, PPE, training, certifications, insurance, etc. But no equipment or equipment expenses, no investment, no marketing, and no accountant. After taking the expenses out, we'd be left with 50,000 pounds per year. Still a decent amount of money, but as an employee site engineer, your company will need to contribute to your pension fund. And a decent company contributes a minimum of 5% from your salary, which with the government 25% tax relief becomes 6.25%, which in money means equivalent of £3,125. That will leave us with 46 875 pounds per year from that amount if you work through an agency you will need to pay for a payroll company to deduct the 20 percent cis tax these days the payroll uh, company commission is around 25 pounds per week which means another 1125 pounds per year to be subtracted that leaves us to 45 750 pounds per year but taking all the responsibility and you will get no sick leave no company car no redundancy pay or any other benefits that you will be offered by an employer on top of that your client can drop your services at any time in which case you will be sitting home looking for a new contract as a freelance site engineer it's pretty difficult to keep a constant flux of work all over the year in general summer is very busy and winter is a bit quiet so please take all of this into consideration when choosing uh, to be a freelance site engineer now let's talk about taxes when you're a self-employed tax isn't just a simple deduction from your paycheck you've got to consider the national insurance and the income tax so let's crunch these numbers and see what you really take home Into our employed site engineer, £45,000 a year sounds straightforward, but there's more to it. As an employee, your tax and national insurance are deducted as source through PayYE. You got stability, but less control over tax planning. You also need to have to take in consideration the career progression opportunities, benefits like paid sick leave, redundancy payment, company car training, and more safety and regular income. What does that actually leave you at the end of the month? Let's dive into these figures. Now comparing these two is not just about the gross income, it's about what you keep after taxes. For the self-employed, while the gross might be higher at the beginning, the net income could tell you a different story once the taxes and expenses are accounted for. From my experience as a freelance, you need to be prepared for very busy periods where the demand for your services is very high, especially in the summer time and more quiet periods like the winter. So even finding the 45 weeks of continuous work can be challenging sometimes. 
the only way to increase your uh, general income is to increase your rate or cut from cost without influencing your uh, service quality.